you hear that? Scary, right? It sounds like a beast, maybe a dinosaur. Well, it's a monkey, a very small monkey, the howler monkey. It's one of the loudest animals on the planet and its scream can reach up to a few miles away. But in the end, it's harmless. However, in the Amazon, there's a local legend. That scream could possibly be something different, something sinister. So I arrived too late to see the monkeys. I kept looking, but they had just left. But after that, my guide, Alako, told me a local legend about a snake. See, this snake keeps its head in the treetops, imitating the sound of the howler monkey. The other end of its body hangs down the tree. It's gigantic. Only the other end of the snake is actually a second head, ready to eat people looking up to find howler monkey. So this story might sound a little silly now, but trust me, in the rainforest, it's terrifying. So on this tour, I'm with four different people. Here's the first one. This is Evelyn. Hi. She's from this area. She's learning English. She's a tourist just like me. It's her first time coming to the National Reserve. Are you excited? <laughs> Me too. So this is our boat for a few days. You can see a lot of food. Uh, they've been cooking here and we've been eating right on the boat. We've been pretty much living here and camping here. And that's Bill. He's the one who drives the boat. Wow. That's Bill. He's great. He's fantastic. This is Alaku. <laughs> He's a local tour guide. He lives in a village very close and he knows everything about the rainforest, you're gonna be seeing a lot of him. Yeah. Right, Alak? Yeah. <laughs> and I am Kevin, I am John's tour guide. We are here in the Pacaya Samiria National Reserve. We are here for six days to explore one of the best bathing of the Pacaya Samiria. And with John, we're gonna do different activities. We're excited to show our culture, our lifestyle, and our environment. After starting the second day with canoeing, dolphin watching, and looking for sloths, which you can find in part one, we returned to Buenos Aires, ate breakfast, picked up a laco, and left for our first campsite. Then after that, and eating a big lunch on the boat, we got into Alaco's very small canoe and headed out into the river. It was Alaco, me, and Evelyn. We were looking for whatever we could find. If you remember us looking for howler monkeys at the beginning of the video, this is the point where it happened.
Yes, nightfall came while we were in the canoe. And let me tell you, when you're on the river in the Amazon rainforest and it's pitch black, it's a hell of an experience. The first time it happens, you just end up thinking about survival. Especially when you realize that this is the hour that caiman or small crocodiles show themselves and look for food. So one thing about being on the river in total darkness is that you really don't know what's around you unless you have a flashlight. And even then, it's still hard to identify things. So when you're just rowing along and a small fish jumps into your canoe, it's a pretty scary thing. Then suddenly, before I knew it, we came to the banks of the river and Aleko showed us all why he was such an experienced guide. Because what you're looking at right now is a caiman that he identified. But that's not all. I really wasn't prepared for what happened next because before I knew it, again, Aleko surprised me and he stuck his hand into the river very fast and he caught the caiman. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, great. <laughs> So we just arrived to a new campsite. We're setting up camp. I don't know how long we're gonna be here, but we're about to go fishing. So that sounds pretty fun. Um, yeah, this is day three. Uh, we still have day four, day five, and day six we return. So it's pretty fun. Uh, this place is beautiful. It's the Amazon. Never. Is, is good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you? See? Yeah. 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 Let's talk about spirits and legends for just a second. People feel like they come mostly at night, but there's definitely something eerie and mysterious about the Amazon during the day too.
Local legends often dominate the conversation, and that's why it's so important to travel as a group. Right now, being inexperienced, I wouldn't go into the forest alone. There's even a legend about the forest devil looking for solo travelers. After going for a walk in the forest and finding some really amazing things like monkeys, an owl, mushrooms, and even drinking purified water from a vine, Bill came to get us in the canoe. Then we took it up the river and decided to go fishing for some dinner. How did we fish? We just used some wooden poles with some strings. The bait ended up being small fish. Alaco is cutting them up right here, using small fish to catch big fish. That's the way they do it in the Amazon. guys yeah so fishing in the Amazon I just caught a piranha check it out after we caught the fish we started heading back to end our day but along the way we found a nice surprise it was a black hawk and he was looking for dinner I have about eight or nine minutes of video footage of just being in the canoe and watching the hawk. And that's part of the experience of being in the Amazon. Little stress, taking your time, appreciating nature, and seeing what you can find. My two tour guides were so excited to experience this one moment, and I felt it too. Alaco even decided to throw the hawk some of the fish we caught. Like I said, it's a beautiful way of life. John, John, wake up, John. Do you want to see an anteater? At 6.30 a.m., Kevin ran to my tent and got me up to see this anteater who wandered into our camp. The best time to see animals is always in the early morning and right before night when the temperature drops. It didn't want to move because it was scared of us, but it was a great surprise to start my fourth day in the Amazon. Right after that, Alaco and I jumped into his canoe and we rode a short distance to find some kawadi in the trees. We actually ended up scaring them a little and they got frantic. So they started running and jumping down the tree to run away. But one of them was so frantic that he actually fell straight into the river.
please don't be like the Kawadi and run away from my experience in the Amazon because we still have two more days coming soon in part three. See you there. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe.